I'm going to uh, describe a little bit about our research that we're doing in, in, in our lab here at the University of Utah. We are really working towards new ways of looking at biological systems. The primary technique that we're using is called near-field optical microscopy. And the way this works is that you have a sharp tip that comes down to a point that's only a few nanometers in size, which can oscillate up and down on the surface and scan slowly over the surface. What we do is we combine that with a focused laser. And right near the tip of that, you have a region of intensity which is enhanced compared to the focused laser intensity. And so this little region of enhanced intensity, optical intensity, can then be used to make higher resolution images than you can obtain with a traditional optical microscope. And so then if you scan that little region over a sample, then you can very locally excite optical processes. We can get resolution that's about 10 nanometers or even slightly below. We've looked at a number of different kinds of things. We've looked at quantum dots. We've looked at little pieces of DNA that are labeled on their ends with fluorescent molecules. And basically, in air, we've been able to achieve resolution below 10 nanometers. One of the systems which we're interested in studying is the so-called escort machinery involved in almost every cell function. Very little is known about the structure of that network, and therefore very little is known about how that network works. We want to image it in a biologically relevant environment. There's no other technique that can do that. So that's one of the goals that we're working towards. We would also like to attach biomolecules, enzymes or ligands, to the end of our tip so that not only can we probe things via their light, but we can also look at chemical interactions. We, we've now been able to attach carbon nanotubes to the end of our probes, and we'd like to attach molecules to the ends of those carbon nanotubes, and then position them in particular locations very precisely, control their activity or alter their activity, and basically apply stimulus biochemical stimulus to the system at a particular time and see how, then it, how, how it then reacts.